Okay, so the honest answer is, when I heard about Kilimanjaro, I almost passed out. I was like super excited. I love a challenge. Um, I, I honestly can't, I can't wait, right? It's, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to prove what burn survivors can do. Summoning Mount Kilimanjaro tests all those, all those things, right? It tests your stamina, it tests your, your mental capability, all things that burn survivors need when they're going through their journey of, of becoming a burn survivor. My name is Jason Nelson. So my story starts early uh, 2014, February 9th to be exact. So I was at a house in Gilbert, uh, just remodeling. Uh, you know, I had a tenant that lived there that had moved out. So I was just painting and uh, doing some other stuff around the house. Uh, about three o'clock, I decided to go out in the garage uh, and unfortunately, I was a smoker at that time, but I decided to have a cigarette break. Um, so I, I went in the garage, door was shut, garage door was shut. I, I went to light the cigarette. Uh, and I didn't know it at the time, but there had been an explosion, uh, kind of like a, a gas grill, right? So it just, there was just a big whoosh, a big fireball uh, that I was in the middle of. Um, I didn't know at the time I had been burned. Um, I just thought my hair had started on fire, um, is what I thought had happened. But I, I, I knew something was wrong and I, I panicked, uh, ran out through the house, you know, screaming, crying. Um, yes. And luckily there was a neighbor there that actually heard the explosion and came down from the uh, street and actually called 911 for me. So I went in February 9th uh, was my is my burn day. Um, I was in a coma for the first six weeks. Uh, so really mid-March is kind of when my uh, I came out of the coma. I still don't remember a lot from that point, uh, just because I was so heavily sedated, um, lots of drugs just to you know keep the pain under control. Um, so my first memory really comes in, like I said, closer to uh, June. Um, but my, my stay actually lasted until almost October, uh, is how long I actually stayed in the Arizona Burn Center. That transition was probably one of the hardest transitions for me, um, because I went from a hospital environment where I had 24 hour a day care. You know, if I needed something, if I needed pain meds, if I needed a drink, whatever it was, there was someone there to get it for me. And now suddenly I'm at home, by myself, you know, my, my wife went back to work. Uh, my parents moved back to Minnesota. So I was, you know, almost by myself again. Uh, so it's, it was a scary proposition to go from the hospital um, to rehab and then from rehab to home. There's a lot of people involved in my recovery. Um, my wife, number one, uh, stuck through me, stuck with me the whole time, right? My parents, um, moved actually from Minnesota to Arizona while I was in the hospital to take care of me. Um, the doctors, the nurses at the Arizona Burn Center. Um, it's really that, that support system, I think, for me, um, including the mental health uh, that is so you know, important for a burn survivor, but all that, that camaraderie and people pulling together um, to see you succeed is, is probably what's made this journey, you know, uh, not enjoyable, but um, but I've learned a lot and I've grown a lot over the last couple of years just from my experiences. You know, there was a lot of great things that happened to me from this accident. Um, and my care was, was I, I can't think of a better place to have been. And to know that the funding uh, for a new burn center is for state of the art, you know, equipment um, and state-of-the-art healing, it, it's a big win for anyone who's got to come to the burn center. The day you're in today is not the day you'll be in six months from now, a year from now, uh, three years from now. I mean, I'm, I'm six years out and six years ago, I, I never thought I'd be in the position I am today. Um, and every day has gotten better, right? They're not all perfect, but every day has gotten better. Um, and I owe that really to the burn center.
right? And, and the people there, the people uh, surrounding the Burn Center, the nonprofits, um, between Valley Wise Health Foundation, the Arizona Burn Foundation, um, there's a lot of support out there. And, and that's what survivors need is they need the support to transition back to who they were prior to their accident, right? Everyone has a story to who they were prior to the accident, right? They also have a story who they were after their accident, right? It's, it's that burn center and the people surrounding it that merge those two stories together uh, to make a successful recovery from a burn survivor. So, so if you're watching this and you want to support the Valley Wise Health Foundation, please, there's a lot of great people uh, involved in this trip. Every dollar counts, right? If it's a dollar here and a dollar there, it contributes to the goal for the Valley Wise Health Foundation.